This is a $20 microphone that I got for free off Amazon. Let me show you how I got it sounding this good. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna go over three free softwares that I use to make my microphone sound as good as possible. This works on any microphone and any PC. First one, you already know, it's voice meter. There's some other videos that go more in depth on my channel if you're interested in that. Voice meter has this really cool effect called the IntelliPan effect and it will make your microphone uh, have a little bit more bass to it and it also compresses it and it just gives you that radio host sound. I really love it and I think it adds to any microphone. The second one is Process Lasso, which is only going to make voice meter run smoother because it has some bugs and Process Lasso is like the one stop fix all. You will never have an issue with voice meter again. But the third one, the third one is what I'm most excited about and pretty much the reason I'm making this video. It's the Wurman Noise Suppression VST plugin. So I'm gonna be running this through Equalizer APO. That's what I'll show you how to set up. And the reason that I want this is because I bought a house recently and this room that I'm in is so loud. Uh, it's bare walls with hardwood floor. My voice is bouncing all around this room, but I don't do voiceover work. Like I can't justify spending hundreds, maybe thousands of dollars to treat this room so that it doesn't have any echoes. But if you have voiceover work for me i would totally be dead i will be sure to timeline this whole video so if you already have voice meter then you can just skip and watch the process lasso or the equalizer apo part and then at the end of the video i'm going to show you a bot that i have in my discord server that helps me know exactly how i sound to other people so that's the end of my rambling we can go ahead and get started with voice meter as i was recording this obs was not picking up my voice so i'm going to do voiceover uh, even though i saw that it totally was picking up my voice whatever Download voice meter, link is in the description. We're gonna download voice meter banana. This is the best version of voice meter that you can get completely for free. The zip file is just gonna be a quicker download. It doesn't matter which one you get. Now I'm rambling on about how the fact that when you go to search for voice meter in your start menu, there are two versions of voice meter. It's just voice meter and then there's voice meter banana. This is just because they need the driver that comes from the original voice meter to work with banana don't know why they decided to do it this way but they did so just ignore opening the original voice meter type in banana instead to find the correct voice meter so now your voice meter should look a little bit similar to this the first thing that we want to do is go to the hardware input one on the left hand side and select either your microphone your mixer audio interface i'm also going to select the wdm version of this next we're going to go over to the right hand side under a1 Left click that, and now we're gonna select your speakers or headphones. This time I'm gonna do MME. Now that we have our microphone and headphones selected, let's actually tell our audio where to go. Any button that is labeled A is going to be what you hear, and then any button labeled B is what other people will hear. B1, I'm gonna click B2, and I'm gonna do mono as well. And then over here for our virtual inputs, on both sides a1 a2 a3 so now i'm seeing my microphone here bump up that is one way of troubleshooting do you see these bars while you're talking into it if not you might not have your microphone selected you might not have it on same thing with the virtual inputs if i was listening to music i would be seeing these bars okay and now for the effect in telepan right here i'm going to get it to this the voice color panel just right click it to switch through the, the selected panels. I'm going to click and drag it to like right here. I think this is where I had it. Less is more. I love this effect, but if you if you drag it here, you're gonna sound terrible, okay? If you, if you put it here, you're gonna sound terrible. This is too much. I think a lot of people will get excited and just like do this and like, yeah, this is good. No, put it here. Less is more, but do add it. I love this effect. Okay, now go to the menu. We're going to click system tray. So now we can exit out of it and it will still work. And then also do run on Windows startup. Okay, so now let's make voice meter our default sound system. I'm going to start with uh, recording. This is my microphone. Uh, and you can see that voice meter is picking it up. So it is set up correctly. Go to properties on your microphone, go to advanced and then Make sure it's set up like this with 48,000 hertz, okay? I also have these unchecked and then I have this checked, all right? Make your microphone look like that. Now I'm gonna go to voice meter and 
click, I'm gonna do voice meter aux output and do set as default. Uh, let's do playback. So this is our headphones. Same thing here, properties, advanced, make sure it's on 48,000 Hertz. Gonna go to voice meter aux input, set as default device. So now everything's going through voice meter. One last thing that I kind of forgot to do, menu, system settings. Um, you can change your buffering here. This will lower the delay of your microphone. So just left click it, okay, and go as low as you can. This is what I'm comfortable with. You can use this as a starting point for your own system. And then preferred main sample rate, make sure that's at 48,000. You can just change all of your settings to whatever I have here. I also have these patch inserts selected. Just gotta left click them to turn them on. If people hear your desktop audio, you have these clicked on and they should not be clicked on, do that. If you hear yourself, you probably have A1 clicked on, don't do that. So make it look, everybody just make it look how this looks, all right? Just click what I click. All right, now let's get Process Lasso. You can get the free version, it doesn't matter. Download free, link in the description, you already know. I might have to restart, I probably do. We're just clicking through it. All right, so here's what it looks like. I know this is kind of overwhelming, but again, just like voice meter, all you gotta do is click what I click. Uh, we're only using a couple things here. Okay, so first file, config profile, create config profile, name it voice meter. So now we can see that we're using the voice meter profile here. Okay, I'm gonna go to active processes and now I can find audio DG. So we're gonna select that CPU priority always I. Back to it, there's a few things we're gonna change about the audio DG. Okay, now back to audio DG, CPU affinity, always select. And now I'm just gonna click on all these, uncheck, or can I just do, there we go. Now I'm just gonna select two and then click okay. Application power profile, high performance. Cool. So audio DG is set up. I'm going to find voice meter at the very bottom here. Application power, high performance. So the reason that we did process lasso is so that we just will never have any bugs with our microphone popping or crackling or sounding bad while using voice meter. So we can exit out of process lasso and now, now we can go to equalizer APO. This one's gonna be very cool. Okay, and now we're on to uh, equalizer APO download. We can just click that here. And then to download the warm and noise suppression, we can click on the noise suppression on the right hand side, and then you can download Linux, Mac, or Windows. I'm gonna go ahead and do the Windows. Now I'm gonna go into my documents. I'm gonna save these files somewhere that isn't my desktop. So I'm going to just do that now. Just do warm and drag them into here. So now we'll start with equalizer APO. Okay, and now on the configurator here, I'm gonna to go to capture device and I'm going to select my microphone or your interface or your mixer. If you don't know what a mixer or interface is, then you don't have to worry about it. Uh, just select your microphone or uh, like Go XLR, Focusrite, I'm using a Focusrite here uh, and then we can just click okay. Now I'm gonna to have to reboot, so. I'm gonna, do, all right, let's do it. And let's pick up where we left off with Equalizer APO. So I'm gonna go to uh, this PC. We're gonna go to Program Files, Equalizer APO. And then I'm going to click on Configurator, hold Shift, click on Editor. So I'm selecting both of them. I'm going to Control C, copy both of those. I'm going to go back to the left hand side, go to program data, which we don't really often go to, look for Microsoft, Windows, and then start menu, then programs. And now we can control V, paste those in. And so now, like the reason that we did this is just because when we go over here and you search for the editor, um, like it just, it, it doesn't show up which makes this very inconvenient. So now we can do that. We can go to the editor. Um, this will pop up, click no, and then I'm going to get rid of like these preset effects here. So it's gonna have my default selected here, but I don't want that. I want uh, my microphone selected here. All right, so now I'm gonna click on this new icon. I'm going to save this in the same location here. We're just gonna type, voice meter then we can go back to the config 
select voice meter. And now we're being used in the main channel. Now back to voice meter plus control device. I'm gonna uncheck that and then select my microphone. Then we're going to go to the plus sign, plugins, VST plugin. So now we can add the noise suppression, which I will go back to in my documents, Wormin. And I'm going to select this stereo back to equalizer APO, click on this. Then I'm just going to paste it in to that location. Need admin privileges. And now if you want to change the settings on this, you just click on open panel and you can determine here uh, how strong that you want this to be. And one way that you could do that is by going into voice meter. And once you click A1 on voice meter, then you're going to be hearing your own voice. Okay, so back to configurator, I'm going to click save. I'm going to exit that. And now just to double check, I'm going to find, I'm going to open it back up, click no. And it looks like we're good to go here. Looks like we're working. And it looks like everything is working properly here. So now, so now let me actually like put my headphones on. Let me open up voice meter. Hello, testing. That sounds good. I'm super happy with that. Okay, and then the last thing is how do I sound to other people? I'm gonna go to my YouTube channel. You can just go to the link in the description of this video, but let me go to my video here. Let's join, join antisocial, complete this. What am I here for? Uh, voice meter. And then once you click that, uh, you'll get the roles. Voice meter, start here. Uh, before you reach out to me for any questions, there are some answers for you right here. Uh, I go through the, the frequently asked questions here. I'm here for the audio check. So we can scroll up to the top and this will tell you about the bot and how to use it. So I wanna hear my voice. I'm gonna join audio check one. I'm going to do slash join. Now recording. Hey Craig, thanks for joining. This is just a voice test to see how I sound through Discord to other people. And then I can click on the stop recording button, go to my DMs with him and then click download. And now it jumps to this page where you can then, I'm gonna download the WAV file, like I understand. And let me throw on some headphones. Hey Craig, thanks for joining. This is just a voice test to see how I sound through Discord to other people. And then I, cool. I mean, and that's pretty much it. That is showing you the full process that I went through to get as good of audio quality as I possibly could while being in like a really noisy environment. And that's the end of the video. Hopefully this was helpful to you guys. I would bargain a like on this video that you might wanna save this for later or come back to it later if you need help. So you should just go ahead and like the video for your own convenience here. And uh, if you're interested in this topic, if you wanna see future videos on microphones or headphones, you should subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.